Marvel Studios have been having a blast lately with their plenty of new shows that explore and touch the more obscure parts of the MCU lore. Hit series such as WandaVision, Marvel What If, and possibly the most fan-favorite one, Loki. Loki is possibly the most popular of the plethora of shows due to the fact that it's about an alternate timeline where Loki gains access to the Tesseract Cube in which he opens up an infinite number of alternate realities, timelines, and dimensions. So stay with us and find out about Lady Loki first look. This was something I could never have seen coming. Due to the wackiness the plot this show has, it's safe to assume that eventually over its duration, we'll see something quite different take on the beloved villainous god of mischief. It's important to draw some parallels when it comes to the traditional myths surrounding Loki in Norse mythology and the modern-day portrayal that the comic writers are Marvel have brought us. Straight into the most popular version of the character, the MCU villain played by Tom Hiddleston, in North mythology, Loki is portrayed as a shapeshifter, which eventually leads us to the fact that he could transform into a woman. Adding on to that, the comics have had a more political take on this image by making Loki gender fluid, which, if we're being honest, makes sense. Now, when it comes to the well known and lovable Hiddleston portrayal, we're given a character that is so iconic to its cinematic universe that it could be practically impossible to portray him in a different way for an extended period of time. Luckily, the geniuses over at Marvel Studios came up with a brilliant idea to introduce a completely new, fleshed out and different character within the show's own image. That character, of course, being Lady Loki. It was really helpful to listen to Tom talking about the mischief because she's another version of Loki. Initially, some set footage was leaked of actress Sofia DiMartino dressed up practically in the same outfit Hiddleston wears when he plays Loki. Eventually, tons of fan theories came around whether or not we were actually getting a Loki replacement or if Marvel Studios will decide to add in a completely new character, that being a female Loki. He's another version of him um, in the unlimited universes. After all, it turns out that most of the fans were right, and we got indeed that, a Lady Loki, introduced in the MCU as Sylvie Laufidotir, which is a twist on Loki's name and surname. The character's origin is that she's part of a very high-priority timeline within the Time Variance Authority's ranks called the Sacred Timeline. She was born into this separate timeline as Goddess of Mischief, raised on Asgard, and was told earlier than Loki that she was, in fact, an adopted frost giant. As she was playing with her toys in an Asgardian royal palace, suddenly a time door warps up in the room. From it emerges the judge of the Time Variance Authority, Ravona Renslayer, along with two Minutemen. Afterwards, little Sylvie is arrested by the Minutemen along with erasing her reality through means of reset charge. If you've been wondering, reset charges are dimension manipulating devices used to erase, warp, or literally just reset an entire timeline, dimension, or reality altogether. It's used mostly by Minutemen. However, later on, Sylvie manages to get her hands on the extremely powerful multi dime as a child. Sylvie went through all the processes of being a prisoner within the realm of the Time Variance Authority. As she grew up, Sylvie came to despise the Time Variance Authority and what they had done to her, essentially wiping her from her potentially great childhood and her entire reality. She had no choice but to grow in spite of them, in which she vowed to destroy them for what they had done to her and her entire reality. As her first attack, Sylvie had transported herself into a providence in France in the 16th century, during which she attacked a group of Minutemen from the Time Variance Authority through means of stabbing. After which she continued straight on onto many other misadventures and timeline shenanigans. Afterwards, she intruded onto Selina, Oklahoma in the 19th century and trapped a couple Minutemen troops. However, Lady Loki was eventually spotted by the Time Variance Authority, dropped a lantern, and continued with burning the Minutemen. She also spotted a hunter from the Time Variance Authority and proceeded to kill him before he managed to steal the reset charge. Soon after, Sylvie travels to Wisconsin, this time during the 80s, and sets up another trap for the Minutemen troops that are after her. However, when they showed up, she managed to enchant their commander, a hunter called Hunter C-20, and use her to fight and kill her subordinate Minutemen. After being asked of her intention of all of this chaos, Sylvie simply responded with the childish answer that she's simply having fun. Eventually, through means of negotiation, Sylvie managed to get information from this particular hunter and found that the entrance towards the timekeepers was in fact a golden elevator. Eventually, the heroine finds herself teleported into the Time Variance Authority office and starts fighting all the Minutemen that come her way. Eventually, Sylvia meets with Loki and he confronts her by asking her a multitude of questions whether she's a Loki variant. 
However, all these events eventually lead to the two fighting. Loki came up with an idea to work together with her. However, Sylvie got quite annoyed at such a suggestion as he also implied that she lacked the necessary capability to see what she's truly capable of. Where her powers can lead her. The fight ended with neither of them winning, but Sylvie acquiring a prized Tempad, which is a device used by the Timeverse Authority to open and control time doors as well as time cells. Eventually, the two, both Loki and Sylvie, have a scuffle over the devices, but they get into a very meteor fueled situation in which both of them have to take cover for each other. In this situation, Loki asks Sylvie why she's not killed him yet, in which he tells him that he has hidden under the Tempad, and if he dies, it's lost forever. However, Loki was still interested in forming a team with the girl and eventually they were put in a devastating situation where they were struck by meteors. Sylvie during this period tried to manipulate Loki by approaching him and trying to use her powers to trap him within a memory. The chemistry between the two characters is undeniable. Loki keeps taunting Sylvie to form a truce or at least accept any sort of bond between the two, while Sylvie keeps pointing towards her goal and her arrogance. However, after all their exchanges, Sylvie revealed to Loki that her master plan all along was to get the Tempad and kill him, leaving her to be the only real Loki within all realities. All of this eventually led to an incredible romance between the two Lokis, in which, during its epilogue, they form a closer and closer bond and end up forming a true connection. Loki as a character could completely relate to Sylvie that he could tell where she was coming from which is a place from pain, isolation, and betrayal. Sylvie, on the other hand, eventually, after all her efforts, turned too emotional and also ended up falling in love with her male counterpart. However, her efforts didn't seem boundless towards her goal. After all, Loki just wanted peace within time and space as Sylvie ended up using Loki to get to essentially the boss of the Time Variance Authority and managed to kill him. All of these actions lead to her fracturing the multiverse, essentially opening up strings, webs, and all types of crazy interferences within all possible universes and realities. She remained alone within her empty citadel as all of reality and its boundless interference started to fall apart. With her powers and rough attitude, Sylvie Laufidotir proved herself to be a worthy and amazing counterpart to the series' very own protagonist, essentially becoming a key plot point to the future of the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. Such a character was more than welcome into this show and introduced a lovely and interesting take on the iconic Loki character. From then on, we can now only see what consequences await from her insane actions. On a related note, we wanted to know which part was your favorite one from our video. You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.